Hi, my name's Angel and this is Angelic Arts. Today I'm doing a Trash to Treasure, taking this old plastic bowl and this gorgeous candlestick that I've had for so many years, I don't even remember when I got it. So the first thing I needed to do was cover up the bowl because the bottom is warped and bubbled and the surface is uneven. So taking my chalk paint and using up and down dabbing motions rather than strokes, I covered the entire outside of the bowl. Now this is an extra special video because it's part of a massive collaboration hosted by Broke Girl Aesthetic. This is the Small, cha small Channel Sunday Challenge and this month's theme is Trash to Treasure. It's an open invite to channels with less than a thousand subscribers and this month is hosted by Broke Girl Aesthetic and co-hosted by Freckled Mum. Both of these girls are so talented and have incredible channels. So really, pop on over and give them a like. Tell them I said hi. Once that was dry, I just went back over with my thing anywhere that the paint was patchy. And then left it for a couple of days to dry while I thought about how to proceed. So here we are two days later. And I've cleaned everything off, taken my blue Poundland poster paint and a sponge. This one is the shape of a sheep, which I found really amusing at the time, but I don't know why now. I gently dab the blue in an uneven, messy pattern, well, not even a pattern, just all over the white to try and give it a similar tone to the candlestick. I kind of, at this point, decided that I like wanted the jewel tones and would like to sort of make this look a bit like lapis lazuli or however you pronounce it. It's one of my favourite gemstones and I don't know the actual pronunciation. Isn't that just typical? But even sped up, you can see how quickly this went. It hurt my arm a little bit because I have a weakened left arm from a rather serious fall that I had last year. But that's beside the point. So I took these. Um, just a quick wipe off my hands with baby wipes. And then in my stash, I found these radiant gel uh, texture paints or 3D paints. Um, yeah, I haven't actually used them before. They are used. They, I bought them from somebody who had given up crafting. But I just wanted to have a go. So, yeah, I, there's glue all over my desk from a previous project that was just sticking things to me at the wrong moment so i'm just looking for another lolly stick and now i found one so I scoop out a nice blob of this pale metallic blue and then i'm opening this other one which is this absolutely stunning bronzy coppery color i discovered that they had names this one is stargazer and this one is Autumn Leaf. I will see if I can find them online and link them for you if you'd be interested in getting these. Because honestly, these were an absolute dream to work with. They're really thick and sticky, so they didn't go anywhere I didn't want them to. They washed off of the palette releases me crossing my fingers, hoping that this works out how I have planned. So then taking another sponge, this one is in the shape of a dolphin. And again, see it was stuck because of the glue, so I had to use his tail. I dunked it in the blue, picked up a lot of the blue. The idea being that the blue would blend into the darker blue background. And then a little bit of that gorgeous bronze and a little bit more of the blue. Obviously at this point I wanted to mix the colours so it didn't matter if they were cross-contaminated. And I began to dam a bit randomly but lightly across the whole area of the bowl. Now, of course, I want my bowl and my base to match. So once I was happy with where it was on my bowl, and I think that the little sort of metallic -y highlights do give it that jewel tone look that I was looking hoping for. So just like the veins, goldish colour that you see running through lapids. And then I did the same technique all over the candlestick and I think it kind of made this look like old copper like verdigris copper rather than lapis but I still really really like the effect then 
taking a leaf out of Jamie DIY's book, I thought I'd try and get rid of some of this paint using hand gel um, and a baby wipe. It sort of worked. I still had to take a break and go and wash my hands after I'd applied the glue, but it left my hands clear enough that I could apply this mixture of permanent all-purpose glue and a bit of quick hold glitter hot glue yes i know it's glitter i've run out of the normal glue sticks and i'm determined to use up my glitter ones before i buy any more just topping up the effect there um then i put stuff heavy stuff in it once it was now oh, because i can't use it for food i know that i could just use my normal mod podge and this is how it came out i am so happy with this